Hello and welcome to the channel. Today we're in Durham, North Carolina at BMW of South Point. And they're gracious enough to give me a 2019 BMW M850i. This is the first new 8 Series in 20 years. This car is available in a coupe or a convertible. They both have a 4.4 liter V8 twin turbocharged engine that produces 523 horsepower and 553 foot-pounds of torque. These cars are all-wheel drive and these cars have all-wheel steering. The all-wheel steering in the car works like this. If you're going at low speeds, they turn opposite of the front wheels to help park the car easier. At high speeds, they turn in the same direction as the front wheels to help the car corner better. This car is matched with an 8-speed transmission, and this is definitely their flagship coupe. This particular car is a first edition. There's only 400 of these cars in the world. This car is special paint. It's Barcelona Frozen Blue. It's a matte finish on this paint. I'll show you the interior in a minute, but it has a special interior that's white with blue accents and a blue dash. So this is a very special car. There's only going to be 400 of them built in the world. If you look at the front end of this car, you'll see that BMW is still going with their massive new grills on the front of the car. This one's all blacked out. You've got your fog lights uh, also in your LED headlights here. You've got air intakes on both sides on the bottom, and you've got an aggressive front end on the car. You can see the lines on the hood where the car is totally redesigned. The side view of the car will give you an idea of the slope coming down on the back of the car. This car has a full carbon fiber roof on the car. With the slope of the car, it's very good looking. And also you'll see it's got the black satin wheels on the car as part of the package. But you've got this matte finish. It's saying right here, do not polish or refinish the surface. It's a true matte finish on this car. But you can see the slope of the back of the car. You have a little lip spoiler on the back of the car here to help with downforce. It's a gorgeous line on the car, and like I said, it's the first 8 Series in 20 years. They finally came back out with it, and boy, did they do a good job on it. At the rear end of the car, they've got the new three-dimensional looking taillights in the back of the car, the 850i logo on the back of it. They have a diffuser looking piece on the bottom down here, and of course, all these cars are all-wheel drive, so it's got the X-Drive badge on the back of the car as well. Once again, you've got this lip spoiler that's body colored, the same color as the car in the matte finish. It's a nice looking rear end on the car. It's rather low, sits good, but you see the slope of the back window coming into play with the back hatch of the car. Looks very nice. This coupe model is really pretty. Like I said, it comes in a convertible model as well, but the styling of this car is incredible. This matte finish is just very rare, only 400 in the world. But let's take a look inside and you can see what else this car has. But I will tell you that with this car, you get the best of both worlds. You get the performance of a sports car, but you get the luxury of a BMW. The build on this car is impeccable. The interior of this car, you won't believe how nice it is, how well it's put together. This is the total package. Let's take a look inside. Check out these seats with the blue accent. So you've got the white leather, the blue accents. Even the steering wheel is blue. The dash in this car is blue as well. And the center console is blue also. Let's get inside and take a closer look. So it's got the virtual cockpit like the 7 Series and the X5 does. So you've got your speedometer, your tachometer there. It's got the 7.0 iDrive system with the flip screen. And you can customize this however you like. You've got all your heat and air condition controls here. Heated seats on each side on this car. These are all your radio presets here. And down here you have a wireless charging pad in there. Cup holders here and a USB port right there. In your driving mode, you have Sport, Comfort, Eco Pro, and Adaptive. So you can select different driving modes. It also has an auto hold, 
this feature will hold the car to traffic lights so you don't have to keep your foot on the brake the entire time and then over here you have all the different controls from media home map the same controls that you have up here on the dash this car also has different controls so you can gesture control you can turn the radio up and you can turn the radio down just by doing your hand like that there are many different controls that you can do with that as well this is all your climate control and you can see you've got left to right side by side on that this car has the driver pro package so the car will drive itself there's the button for that right there this is where you set the distance between you and the car in front of you. So if you want to be closer to the car, you do it here. If you want to be further away, you set it right there. This car has a heated steering wheel. This has the Byron Wilkins stereo system in it. Memory seats. It has a blue Alcantara headliner in the car. Check that out. It's very pretty. And there's a few of the back seats the white with the blue stitch blue inserts the back of the car check out the door panels it's white leather stitched in blue and that looks really nice it's very attractive looking like I said, the fit and finish of this car is impeccable. And you've got the doors here, the top of the door panels and the stitch. You got the full leather dash with the contrast stitch. Even over here with the heads up display up there, but then you've got the contrast stitch here as well. It's just a gorgeous interior. Let's take this car for a ride and see how it does. This interior of this car, I can't get over how nice it is. It even has a, uh, a crystal shift knob. It's, um, it's part of the package. It looks insane. Let's take it for a spin and see how it does. Like I said earlier, you really got the best of both worlds because you've got a luxury coupe. I mean, the interior of this car is impeccable. It's so soft, it's very comfortable. Uh, but yet you've got a sports car as well. So, you know, it's an everyday driver. If you want to take this car and go to dinner with your wife and just enjoy it, you can. Or if you want to jump in the car on a Sunday morning and blast down a country road, you can do that as well also. So you really do have the best of both worlds with this car. So you get to choose a luxury ride or a performance sedan. I love this blue leather on the dash with the contrast stitch. Looks really well. And let's see how this car performs. Like I said, it's got a 4.4 liter V8 twin turbocharged with 523 horsepower. So you know this car is plenty fast. Zero to 60 time on the car is 3.6 seconds. So that tells you it's a fast car. That's very quiet. It has a very smooth ride so far. Uh, steering feels really good in the car. It's a little light right now. Let's see if it firms up once we get a little speed up on the car. And remember, it's got four wheel steering. So at low speeds, they're gonna turn opposite of the front wheels to help you park better. And then at higher speeds, they're gonna turn with the front wheels to help the car corner better. see what we've got here. Oh, yes. That was a very quick time to 60. I won't tell you how fast we were going, but it was faster than 60. The car is very smooth. Got it in comfort mode. Let's feel the steering on the car. The steering feels good on the car. Brakes feel good and secure. It's 
put it in sport mode. You can hear the throttle pick up on the car. I can feel the suspension getting a little stiffer. I can feel the steering definitely tighten up. Oh yeah, very impressive. Your downshift for me automatically. You don't need the paddle shifters for this. It's doing it itself. Automatically downshift it for me. Very impressive. Car sounds really good. that it's downshifting for you. You don't have to do anything. Very smooth, quick car. Handles great. The sport mode definitely changed the dynamics of this car and turned it into a beast. You can feel that the rear wheels helping you turn in on this car. So you've got all the creature comfort settings to just cruise around this car and enjoy it and then if you want to get on it you got this I could definitely live with this car like I said you got the best of both worlds now we'll switch it back to comfort and it turns into a totally different animal. Now it's just your jump in it and go to dinner or run to a store and cruise on down the road and very quiet, you don't hear anything outside of the car. The ride's very smooth. It just transformed it back to a daily driver. Like I said, this is a first edition. They only make 400 worldwide. So this is a really rare car. And they also make it in a convertible. So if you have a feel that you want a convertible, they make it in a convertible as well. I think the convertible is about $10,000 higher base price than the two-door coupe. So it's your personal preference. But all I can tell you is you can't go wrong with this car. Like I said, it's either a, a daily driver to go to dinner and go to the store or push one button and turn it into a Jekyll and Hyde and have a lot of fun taking this car around the turns. Well, I would say that the first coupe in 20 years in an 8 Series for BMW, they've got a hit on their hands. It seems like everything that this car does, it does very well. The fit and finish on the interior of this car is impeccable. I mean, everything about it just is perfect. And like I said, it's a Jekyll and Hyde. If you want to just drive it normal, comfort, all the creature comforts of the car, you've got it. If you want to have a sports car, push one button. And you just saw this car turns into a totally different car. If you like this video today, click that like button. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. 
If you've got any comments, leave them below. I would really appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next video.